Well, you've likely heard of the Nashville hot chicken craze, and it's made its way to Metro Detroit, and there is one place that people are hitting the road for just to go and try it. Michelle Oliver is taking us to the social media hotspot Eureka Eatery in Monroe to fill up. Let's dine in the D. People are traveling for miles to get a taste of this chicken sandwich. So I'm from the Grand Rapids area and uh, I was here visiting my dad and I actually found this on social media. The chicken sandwiches looked great and I just really wanted to try them out. Lucky for them, they can fill up their tank as they stop to eat because Eureka Eatery is inside this gas station. It's amazing how the gas station has transformed and we've definitely become a destination spot in Michigan for food. Originally, owner Kenny Chirac didn't plan on opening a restaurant, but he had the space and a love of food. I absolutely love food. I travel just to eat. I've traveled all, all across America just trying different restaurants out, trying flavors and uh, different styles of food out. I, I absolutely love it. They started out with Mediterranean cuisine, but soon hit their stride. As I was eating more flavor profiles, I wanted more flavor in the food. We started launching monthly specials, um, and within those specials is how we kind of developed and came upon Nashville Hot Chicken and more of just straight chicken restaurant. Fans flocked to their new chicken only menu, testing their taste buds with the spice. So we do have seven heat levels that you can choose from. There's country, mild, medium, hot, burning, clucking hot, and inferno. We do use uh, the hottest pepper in the world for our hottest one, which is our Carolina Reaper. The second hottest uses our Trinidad Scorpion, which is the second hottest pepper in the world. Then on we use uh, ghost pepper, habanero pepper, and cayenne peppers in our other ingredients. This is a wonderful spread. I can't wait to dig in. So let's get into the menu and we're going to start with the tenders and nuggets. These are your classic chicken nuggets. They have been freshly battered and fried here and are actually pressure cooked, leaving them nice and juicy on the inside and crispy on the outside. They also have chicken tenders. You can get these ones, which are not spicy, but if you're a spice fiend, you should check out these Nashville hot chicken tenders. So they're dipped in butter and then seasoned with your choice of spice level. They have seven different options. If you're in an indulgent mood, check out this Nashville Hot Chicken Mac Bowl. So they start off with a layer of fries, then their homemade mac and cheese, and topped with the Nashville Hot Chicken. It's spicy, it's cheesy, it's delicious. Now let's get into the sandwiches, and this one is the most simple. It's called the Cluckin'. It's fried chicken with pickles. If you want to kick it up a notch, why not get their deluxe? It has lettuce, pickles, tomato, the fried chicken, and cheese on it. You can also top it with one of their seven sauces. Finally, the piece de resistance, the sandwich that made them so famous, the Nashville Hot Sammy. So it has their special shack sauce, is topped with a Nashville hot chicken, which you can get at one of seven spice levels. Then comes sweet pickles, and finally, tangy slaw to finish it off. So. Does it live up to the hype? I thought the sandwich was great. It was juicy. It had just the right amount of heat. Definitely lives up to the hype. I think it goes above and beyond the hype. Michelle, that looks so good. Oh, yeah, it was. I agree with him. I think it lived up to the hype for okay. sure. Okay. Well, we've got some here in front of us. So walk us through these um, really quickly. So you want me to help you with this? So we have the most basic one, which is called the Cluckin. It has the fried chicken as well as some pickles on it. The one I think Jason might like the most, at least in terms of how he describes the chicken sandwiches he likes, is the deluxe. So that's pickles, lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese. Yeah. Plus you can top it with the sauce. And then if you want to go spicy, that's where you go to the Nashville Hot Sammy. It has the spicy chicken on it. You choose the spice level. Plus it has pickles. Their special sauce and coleslaw on it. Hello. So I don't know if Jason wants to give one a try. Go Definitely take the spice level seriously, though, Jason. Yeah, he grabbed, uh, he grabbed the Sammy. I, you know, I'm going oh, for the hot. Ooh. The hot one. You can see us. Why am I saying ooh. that? He's going for Be it. Be prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> we should have had you some Coke here for you or something. Mmm. Hot, too hot, perfect? Hasn't kicked in yet. Hasn't kicked in yet. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I, I will really say this, in my opinion, the spice is nice and flavorful, so you're not just getting all heat. It's like you're getting nice flavor with it, too. So you get the heat, but it's 
you're not losing the, the flavor, taste right? It's it. not like what do you, burning what you your think, mouth Jason? so you don't taste the food. It doesn't go that far. Like it has a good balance. Ooh. <laughs> exactly. I think it's kicking in, Michelle. He just gave <laughs> Is us it the woo. Now, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> this guy needs a coke. <laughs> We have some I personally like the medium. <laughs> I take it a notch downward from where Jason was. That is so funny. All right, so on a scale of one to ten, how would you really place that one? Mm, it's hot. I'd say seven, uh, eight. Okay. All right. So okay, yeah, it gets and and that's not even their hottest level. They also oh have the burning, the clucking. And then the inferno, oh so it goodness. gets hotter from there. I like the medium personally. Yeah, medium that was good. hot enough. Yeah, medium is good, right? Yeah, medium that's is all good. I need. I, I get the spice and I get the flavor. Yes, Ooh. yes. So let me ask you this: Is there a place to dine? Like you could just, you know, have a seat and enjoy your meal while you're there? Absolutely. <laughs> they have uh, some picnic tables out here, like you see. So there's the gas station. It's right next to the gas station. It's uh, nice. They got the nice little fence there, the pretty trees. Nice. So it's a it's a great place to stop. I would go there when I was heading down to Cedar Point because oh. it's quite far south on I-75. So if you're heading to Cedar Point or anywhere in Ohio or in any of the southern states, stop by there on your way down. It's definitely worth the stop. That's awesome. So they're located in Eureka, though, right? Yeah, they're located actually on Mon in Monroe, okay. on Monroe Street. Okay. So 3080 North Monroe Street. Right, oh, there's the Eureka Eatery. Got it, got it, got it. See, I'm catching yeah. it, Michelle. I'm catching it. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, but it's, yeah, Monroe. Got it. Eureka Eatery in Monroe. Eureka Eatery <laughs> in Monroe, in a gas station. There's so many gems in gas stations. You took us to Tasty Burgers, which was in one, two, right? so you never know what good. You okay, Jason? He went and grabbed a yeah. glass of water, How Michelle. You doing? <laughs> He needs like some milk or something like yeah. water. Water doesn't work as well against spice as milk yeah. does. We'll work on Ooh. that. All right, Michelle, thank you so much. This was awesome. Thank you. All right, if you love all things foodie related in Metro Detroit and you want restaurant recommendations and behind the scenes chats with fellow foodies, sign up for the Dine in the D newsletter. It's sent straight to your inbox every other Thursday. To sign up, look for the newsletters tab at the top of clickondetroit.com. And while you're online, you should join our Dine in the D Facebook group. That way you'll always be in the know for where the best food in Detroit is. And leave Michelle suggestions. She might yeah. go check your place out, right?